How are you, my bro? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, say hello to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> hello, YouTube. Hello, how are you today? Yeah. Toi <laughs> Hue. Yeah. Toi Hue. So to give you all a little Vietnamese la uh, language lesson, Tien Viet, Toi Hue, is I, I'm good. I'm good. I am good and I am in my very Vietnamese neighborhood here in District 1 of Saigon. And uh, this is going to be a raw vlog video where I take you to my bar and barbershop buried deep in the alleyways of this city. Uh, I've got my friend Fabrice with me who's uh, doing a little second camera work right now. So we can show you all a little bit of behind the scenes and some of the very active environment here. This is a Sunday night here in Saigon. Sunday nights are like all the families come out. It's Sunday night tends to be a little more crowded here than Friday and Saturday nights because Sunday nights is like, it's very uh, Vietnamese family time. And if I can, as we make our way down the alleyway, alleyway here, towards the bar and barbershop and a, a hotel I want to introduce you all to. If any of you out there are thinking, are considering coming to visit this city for the first time, there's a, a very popular hotel called Language Exchange 3 that um, has rooms starting with a, a bunk bed in a dorm at uh, about 110 VND, about $5.50. And going up to about 800 VND, which is like three, uh, 32, 32 USD per night. And uh, it's kind of a hidden secret. Most of the uninitiated, when they first come to Saigon and they're on a low budget or they want to live in a really Vietnamese place, they end up in the backpacker district. So this neighborhood of mine, Wen Tri, 212 Wen Tri is the street. It's sort of the antidote to landing in the backpacker zone, and uh, which is really loud. I mean, like Bui Vien Street and the backpacker district here never shuts down. But our neighborhood, oh, hang on, let me, uh, I think we have, hello, Sin Chow. This is, this is the asshole neighborhood dog. <laughs> Sin Chow, Sin Chow. Yeah, that's um, I mean that's standard, standard procedure for our neighborhood. That's the asshole neighborhood dog, that no one can stand. He just doesn't seem to like human beings. Uh, just uh, coincidentally, there are three restaurants up the street that do sell dog. So uh, when you come to Vietnam. Just don't uh, order anything off the menu without knowing exactly what it is. And uh, that dog's such an asshole that many of us want to drag him by the collar up the street and see him on the, uh, on the spit turning around. Uh, never thought that about a dog, but yeah, that dog has earned that reputation. Anyway, so now we're walking into Language Exchange 3. Hello, Daniel. How are you today, my bro? And uh, this, how, how do you think about, how do you feel about the uh, yes, hotel? It's a lovely hostel. Min is a beautiful, kind-hearted woman. Yeah. Uh, it's very clean, very, uh, very friendly. Yeah. Nice location. This is, uh, this is the place to stay. It is probably the best kept hidden secret here in Saigon if it, you're like just landing here. But what did you think when you got here from the airport about this neighborhood? It's, it's extremely Vietnamese, this neighborhood. Yeah, very Vietnamese. The, yeah. the traffic is mad. Yeah. But apart from that, it's so friendly. Everyone's so kind. Yeah. The food is delicious. Uh, it's everything you could want really from, from Vietnam. Cool. Well, authentic you, experience. You, heard it from, uh, you heard it from a, a new but probably loyal customer. That's right. That uh, this is the place to stay. So look it up. You could read about it on TripAdvisor. Um, but it's a nice little community of people that we have here in this neighborhood. And directly across the street is where you can find me in Saigon. It is called From Now to Future, and it is my bar, barber shop, and coffee shop. And let's take a walk inside, and uh, I could show you our mixed 
community of Viets and expats that we've got going on here. Fellas, say hello. Let's take a walk inside. And if you do need a, uh, the big draw here right now are there, is our barber shop. If you want a haircut and a beer, we've got you covered for 110 VND. It's about $5.50 for a haircut and a beer or whiskey or a coffee. Take a peek into the barber shop here. And we're kind of winding down for the week. But as you can see by the decor, a very gentlemanly barber shop. In fact, on the uh, window, we do have a sign that reads, it's backwards of course, but only for men. Sorry for the ladies. Uh, I don't think we turn your money away, but it, the vibe in here is, is a gentleman's club. Mr. Bao, say hello to you too. He's uh, out of uniform now, as he's winding down for the week. He's worked very hard. But if you come in here, look for Mr. Bao. Mr. Bao. He's our best barber. Best barber. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find he and I here at From Now to Future. And I will drop the Google Maps link to the bar and barber shop uh, in the description. And of course, it's right across the street from the hotel. So if you are looking for a really awesome accommodation, and FYI, they, they do have the, um, like I said, the sort of like, uh, cheap entry level dorm room with the bunks. They also have themed rooms, uh, including sex swings for you uh, freaky couples out there. So uh, look up Language Exchange 3, it's a really great place. Come and see me at From Now to Future, deep in the alleyways of District 1, Saigon, Vietnam, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, Fabrice. Okay. <laughs> yeah.